All right, I wanted to showcase the rare attack champion secret room here for Doom Tower Hard. This is, of course, the same. This is in two different iterations of Doom Tower. So it's really helpful if you can finally get someone a good set going here. Um, of course, the other one has like rare spirit champions only, and that's absolutely terrible. Let's be honest. But this one's not so bad if you can just build a couple people. Now, for me, I already had all of, well, no, I had Elhane was my starter champion. So she was already at 60. My two cold hearts I use for other content and my soulbound has been at 60 for quite a long time. I just regeared her and I did build up Dagger for this purpose alone. Um, I like her better than War Maiden personally. I think she, she hits hard and she's cool. I just like build champions you want to play with, not just because War Maiden's technically a little bit better because um, 100% chance to land, but I don't know. I, I just, I like War Maiden. I like um, Dagger. I wanted to play her, so I built Dagger. So before we get into this, I'm going to show you guys my champions just to show they're not crazy. Let me pull, I might have to pull them out of the vault first. Let's see, we got Elhane, we got her, and my cold hearts. They're just chilling in the vault, taking up space. So there's a lot of options for this. The biggest thing is stun sets are really helpful. Crowd control, crowd control, crowd control. Just like everything else, like trying to be faction wars, super helpful as well. But now, all right, let's see. Let's see. So we got Dagger. She's my de AOE decreased defense. I actually never finished her masteries, and I still beat it okay. I probably should finish her masteries. <laughs> oh gosh, that's super funny. I mean, I'm trying to think if I'm ever going to use her in anything else. Um, well, we'll take a look there. So I do have Dagger in a stun set. Her stats are not crazy, honestly. Um, I You don't need a lot of speed for the Doom Tower secret rooms. They're all really low speed. You can take a look at that with um, Hell Hades has a stages tool, like, you know, that big Doom Tower spreadsheet we always used. He has a much easier to use version of that on his website, which I'll link below. I'll, I'll link the Doom Tower stages tool below because it's super helpful. Um, and you can just pull up what you're doing and see how fast you need to be or see what your resistance or accuracy needs to be compared to the enemies. Really, really helpful to see what you're going up against. But the speeds don't have to be crazy. She should be faster, but I didn't overly worry about it. I actually focused on getting her a decent attack. She has a lot of crit damage for a pretty lazy build in a stun set. Um, and she has plenty of accuracy to land as well. That's all we needed. Enough accuracy to land. Uh, oops. And yeah, that's... I don't... It's like She's really squishy, as you can see right here. Pretty damn squishy. So, I, I mean, I think as far as this goes, I'll probably just go down to Helm Smasher just to help I get, hope I get a chance to do some extra damage. So let's just... Let's do this. We're going to build this just for the sake of... In case people die. Hold on. There we go. What do I need most for this kind of... I mean, I'm really not using her anywhere else right now. We'll start with that as well, and we'll go here. Okay. This is the only place I use Dagger. Except, yeah, because I don't use her in Faction Wars because I have Stagnite. So this is this is my dagger. Nothing fancy. She is fully booked. I mean, it's a rare. They're easy to book these days. You can just save dupes, of course, and book them there. But she's my first one. Uh, then we got... Let's go into the other champions. Everyone else is already built, so that'll be quicker to show. My Elhane is just built... I don't think she's crazy. I've rebuilt... Look, she's wearing freaking level 8 boots. Level 8 boots. <laughs> I probably should level up some of this gear. Pause. Alright, I just rolled it to 12. Of course we landed accuracy, because of course we get the one thing that she doesn't need. Alright, so yeah, I just I just did that. I should continue rolling it up, but you know what? I did it before I rolled that to even 8, so we're just getting a little bit more attack on her. In a perfect world, I would have Elhane in a stun set for this as well. All three people in stun sets, or more, would be helpful. Honestly, she's look at how bad her speed is, 152, but you don't need it on the secret rooms. They are very low speed, as I said. So I was able to get her some extra stats. Not even 100% crit rate. Nothing crazy. This is a terrible build, to be honest. Look how bad this is. Pretty bad. I haven't... I think I just threw random gear on her and just tried her. <laughs> and it helps. But this could be so much better. This should be crit capped. She should be at 100% crit rate, especially with random gear. I Honestly, I should be rebuilding this. I think... 
well, let's be honest, let's get this to, to, to level 16 and that would help alone. But I'm not even going to worry about it, you know? Who cares? We can do it without it. You don't need some crazy builds. I have her in the same masteries I've had on her for since I got her. They're, they probably could be better, but honestly, this isn't too bad. I had her um, to War Master. I don't even know why, because I guess early on I was using her for bosses, but I really need to get her crit capped, probably in Helm Smasher or Flawless Execution, and have her be a proper AoE header. Um, this is a strange build. It's fine. Honestly, I don't even know that she really needs the mastery. She's just there to help. Terrible build. <laughs> I could I, I should rebuild her for this to make it faster and better. But that's okay. We got Solbon Boyer here. She is in a stun set as well. Um, so again, some level 12 gears here. Nothing insane. She's only 180 speed, 3000 attack, 80% crit rate. No crit, oh, Not even 100% crit damage. Enough accuracy to land her turn meter decrease. Of course, she's really helpful here with um, her AoE on her A1, aka the stun set. You also can use her A2 to fully deplete turn meter and help take someone out selectively. Her A, or sorry, her A3. Her A2 does hit really hard, and I do love her aura. Is a, adds to crit rate, so having her in the lead can add every crit rate to everyone. And I do have masteries on her as well. I had masteries on Warmaster for working with faction wars, beating the bosses. But I think now I don't I don't know if I even use her anymore. I might. This could again be built as a bit of better of a nuker build and set with Flawless Execution and Helm Smasher, but I didn't change a lot of my people. I just used them as they were, like my cold hearts. Of course, cold heart, I have one in flaws. I think I have one in Helm Smasher and one in Flawless Execution. So my cold hearts are as they are for other content. I didn't change them. 70% crit rate-ish. Um 258 crit damage. She hits hard. 250 accuracy. On my main cold heart, and then my second cold heart is uh, same thing, about 70% accuracy, or sorry, crit rate, and a little bit lower crit damage. But same thing, only around 3,000 attack, nothing crazy, and enough accuracy to land wherever we need. So that's it. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, dagger. So everyone does have masteries in this build, but terrible, terrible gear. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. So embarrassed. It's quite funny though, but it works. And again, the crit rate actually helps. I, f I use the crit rate aura for a reason, just to help get their damage a little bit better, especially if lacking 100% crit rate. Be crit cap though, it's better that way. But I will, I think I did this manually to be honest. I'm not sure if this is an auto run. So we're gonna let this run on auto and see if it can do it on auto. I don't know if this can. If I rebuilt my Elhane, it probably could. <laughs> I'm getting the dang glasses back on now. That's long past my remove your glasses command. Oh my goodness. So it, I don't think this can work on, oh no, one's, someone's already dead. So someone is already dead, <laughs> literally. I, I know I did this on manual, so I'm gonna replay this on manual. Alrighty, alrighty. I liked doing this um, to kind of selectively take out people. Um, hoping to stun, of course, on the is actually a little bit more preferred here, but only landed one, unfortunately. Hopefully Dagger can land some more. I want that decreased defense up first. I'm going to go with Elhane's A3, which just smacks... I mean, this is not that hard. She's built terribly, and she's really helping to take out these people. They're not really that tough. They just hit hard right back at you. So I'm just going to go... A2 cold hearts. At least that helps. Um, I'm, again, I'm going to stick to the A1, even though that decrease... Oh, no stuns. Stun set. Where are you? I probably should... if, With the sake of doing this and having her in a stun set for control, I probably should have her with um, Fearsome Presence, if this is her main role, to be honest. But I think I use her in Faction Wars, so... I don't want to kill her for that. The second, yeah, the second Doom Tower, oof, this, see, this is not 100%. It's not 100%. No, no. <laughs> I worked perfectly the first time. It works, damn it. It works. I should just get my Elhane better. That's pretty funny. Let's try this again. Stun set is so RNG because of the stun sets. That's the only thing. Stun sets are so RNG. You get none. Sometimes you get three. Sometimes you get four and you're like, what? But unfortunately, oops, that was not what I meant to. Shit, my A3 didn't go. Oops. Oops. Well then. 
It's fine. It's fine. We'll just A1 cycle on these guys. That might actually have turned out better. Because now I'm ready for the next run. Now we're ready for... Oh, but not with my... All right. But not with that, unfortunately. Stun sets. Work. Woo, look at that. See, this is how RNG this is, unfortunately, with working with a bunch of stun sets, which is so true in Faction Wars, too. But four of them landed this time. Four of them. Jesus. Let's take him out. He's the only one not stunned. Oof, not quite. Not quite. Ouch. Ouch. Jerk. Come on, more stuns. Two. All right, I'll take it. I will take it. They are squishy, but they just took me out in the last run because I'm squishy too. That's the problem. I'm very squishy. The other option would be for a little bit more success rate with this would be having Elhane maybe in a shield set and just putting a bunch of HP on her to have some extra protection. But she should Elhane should be in a stun set or, or a shield set, I think, for this. If that's the only place you use her. Which I really don't use her anywhere else now because I use Yannicka for Faction Wars as my damage dealer. So I probably could rebuild her to make these rooms a bit better. I, I, a bit easier and quicker. For the other iteration, that, that one is a lot harder. So I will probably get her ready when that one comes up. And so I will repost. I'll have to redo this comp for the next round of Doom Tower when we get to that. Because this, yeah, this, this comp can't quite hang. It's pretty squishy. <laughs> It's squishy, and it's not even crit capped. Luckily, Cold Heart doesn't need to be. But poor little Elhane here. But you can see, it is a lot of RNG. If you land, like, no stuns like I did the first time, it doesn't work at all. It's definitely not auto-friendly. I like to use Soul Bond's A1. Of course, you could always turn things off. Um, but then you're gonna, they're gonna... They always attack the wrong people. They always attack the people that are, like, stunned or whatever. <laughs> That's what always happens. But this is a, this team's solid. I think I just gotta get Elhane better, and maybe get Soul Bonds, um, crit capped as well. Although she had no, she has her aura, so I don't need it. Dagger. I guess I don't need Elhane's either, right? Let's take a look again. So she has the aura. If I stick to using her for her aura, that allows me to not have to worry about crit capping people, which is just another bonus. So she's at 78, so we know we need some more on her. Either way, this build is terrible, so. Um, where's Soul Bond? Where'd she go? Over here, right next to her. What is her aura? Oops, that is not where you see aura. 12%, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm still under there. I could get a little bit more. And yeah, the like chat said, the A2 can definitely come in clutch, or an A3, yeah, I agree. But when she's built for damage, she smacks. But I was, I'm trying to rely on the stun set, so I might redo her mash, I might try redo her masteries to give her fearsome presence, just to have an extra chance to place that stun, so that, that if that's gonna be her role, that might be what I do. Honestly, I do have some other new barbarians that I could, I need to get going for faction wars that I could probably replace her with, or just let her be in there for crowd control. She doesn't really need to be the one doing much damage, and she's not doing much damage with the way I have her built right now anyway. A little bit, but nothing crazy. I mean, there's no crit damage here to really do much, and only 3,000 3, attack ain't doing much either, but it works. Sometimes you just gotta play with it. I do look forward to having my supercharged version of this go in now for the next one. But it's progress. It was enough to get by with this one. I did throw on a sh um, blood shield ring too. Whenever I have those, it's just a little extra support. Kind of helpful. <laughs>